excited today because I have one of my best friends, Chip, here on the phone. Chip is coming over today, and whenever Chip is around, things are always so happy and fun. Right, Chip? Say hi to everyone. Hey, Callie. Chip, what's wrong? I had a big happy day planned today full of happy and fun things. Oh, that sounds good. I guess. Chip, come on. You can tell me. What's wrong? Aw, uh, never mind. Chip, tell us what's wrong. Well, I lost my favorite toy. I wanted to bring it and show you. Oh, that's the worst. I'm so sorry, Chip. What is it? It's a baseball bat that makes noises. First, the noise of the bat hitting the ball when I swing. And then, the noise of the crowd cheering like I hit a home run. I lost it, and I can't remember where. Sorry to ruin your big happy day plans, Callie. That is some real sadness, Chip. Oh, maybe today's Bible story will help. Today's story comes from the book of 1 Kings chapter 19. Elisha was a prophet, someone who got a message from God and told the people what God said. One time, he prayed and asked God to send fire down from heaven, and it happened. He wanted to show everyone that God was the one and only God. But that made the queen of the land very mad. Queen Jezebel did not worship God, and she was angry that Elijah listened to God and not her. She sent word to Elijah that she was coming after him, so he'd better run for it. Elijah was afraid of Jezebel and what she would do to him, so he did run. He ran for a long, long time until he couldn't run anymore. Elijah fell down under a bush and felt so sad. But an angel of God came to Elijah and gave him something to eat and drink. Then the angel did this twice so that Elijah could have enough energy to get up and move on. Elijah ended up in a cave hiding. God spoke to him and Elijah told God why he was so sad. Even though God had used Elijah to do amazing things, Elijah now felt scared and alone. God told Elijah to stand outside the cave because God was going to pass by. A powerful wind came, but that wasn't God. An earthquake came, but that wasn't God either. Then a fire came, but that too wasn't God. After that came a whisper. Elijah knew that was God speaking to him in a gentle whisper. Now, we aren't really sure what God said to Elijah in that gentle whisper, but whatever God did say, Elijah was sure from that point forward. God gives me comfort when I feel sad. Chip, you're back to your fun, happy self. Did that Bible story help? Oh yes, it was great. Did you remember where you left your bat that makes cool sounds? Yep. Are you going to tell me? I left it at the baseball field. Wait, you took a bat that makes baseball noises to a baseball field? Yep. Couldn't you just play baseball and hear the noises for real? Oh yeah, I guess I could. Now I'm even happier. When are you going back to the baseball field? Right now. My mom is going to take me and then we will come over. Thanks for reminding me that. God gives me comfort when I feel sad. See you soon, Callie. Well, Chip's back to himself again. Friends, whenever you feel sad about losing your favorite toy, or when a friend won't play with you, or anything at all, don't forget what Chip and I learned today. God gives me comfort when I feel sad. 
Thanks for learning and growing with me today, friends. <laughs> <laughs>